storm rolling in. It's been storming like crazy all day. Here. It's been our main canyon. Got to document some of this. <laughs> this is unreal. In the misery. <laughs> Somehow much they appreciate that bear skin. <laughs> yeah, really. Their bear mat. This is Texas style, Alaska style. I knew it was cold, wet, and rainy. Yeah. Mm, what you signed up for? Yeah. You see the hail? Oh yeah. Oh, this. Showing this whole valley, is it? Well, these, these ladies better appreciate us for all the the hard work we go through to bring home a bear rug. Uh, I appreciate being able to go. <laughs> <laughs> we got good wives. We got to make sure that's on camera. <laughs> yeah, we do that. And crazy, and we're crazy ourselves. When you see us shrink when we get home. <laughs> I am looking forward to a nice hot bath. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only day three of twelve. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's back. <laughs> beautiful Kodiak weather. <laughs> You paid a lot of money to come do this. Oh, it's great. I can't believe it, You paid to do this? You know how many people we could have taken to Hawaii, John? I'm going with you, Nick. Your family could have only taken two trips. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to warm Australia. Yeah. Yeah, I had, to, I had to document this on video, just the uh, <laughs> crazy storms that came across. Beautiful sunny. Yeah, yeah, 10 minutes ago. That's crazy. So this is a great little shelter we got made to get us out of the wind and a little bit of the rain. So, anyways, we're hoping a bear will come out here soon. Saw one small bear earlier.
It's only ankle deep here.
out to the right. Be careful there. Hit him good. Finish them off, yeah. Dude, I got the 460 pistol too. You see him right at the base of that rock. Uh, the outside one, bottom one. Now you rolled his butt twice that I saw. Yeah, you, got, you got it. You got it. He ain't going anywhere but my scooter. You got the right one too. You see yeah. how that sound came out running? Yeah. Woo. Oh, now he is looking at us though. He's oh, looking up there. Up he there. needs another you want round. This? Yeah, see, he's looking at us there. Okay. Oh, yeah. He ain't dead yet. You're gonna have to thump him again. Get, get the shooting sticks and just get a good dead hold. Where's your shooting stick? There. Yeah, he's looking at his head came up a minute ago. Oh, he's probably going down, but he can pull up with his head, but he can't yeah. walk. He's probably got a broken shoulder working back. See right there. Gun. There you go. He's right at the base of that rock. His chest, his head's looking at us. His head's to the left there, so his body's to the right. You can see his front of his face there. Yeah. He's looking straight at us with his nose down a little bit. Was that about? Was that about? I see him. I want to get him out. Get him a nice shot. <laughs> what was it, about? Seventy but, yard shot? Oh no. no Maybe no, fifty. Fifty. John's here. Crapping his pants, reloading his gun. <laughs> the only reason I did get closer though was because of, I didn't know which one was. Oh yeah, behind. yeah. Definitely the darker one. So I said, let's. Like, we already knew the darker one, but then I could see him. Yeah. I was like, I could see him yeah. was in that. That sow's a big sow too. Yeah, I'm not questioning you. Just... Yeah. Let's try. And, oh, try... <laughs> I know I can run faster than these two guys. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Awesome. T time for a celebratory smoke. <laughs> uh, no, you weren't supposed to say that. We're on video. I'm uh, trying to get behind. We're going to wait a few minutes. Yep, We're going to let him yep. do his thing. Yeah. We're going to sit here, relax. Yeah. Big John got a oh, bear. Oh, yeah. Woo! Big John bear. <laughs> All right. A Kodiak brown bear. Third Woo. king. And a big bear. So this was 11 12. And you know what? You were right. You were right. I mean, dead. Matter of fact, I was telling John earlier, I said, you know what? If the statistics play out, our next our next one is a shooter. One should be a shooter. And you know what? He was. Right. Hell of a job. Oh, man. Awesome stock. And I got a lot of it on video. I was filming you guys the whole way up the, the creek bed and everything. So, sure. That last spot, as soon as we came over, 
we sat down that last spot yeah. and then when you spotted him you knew he'd be I here thought, like boom i was like okay they're staying in there and i had been looking at that creek and i was like okay i know exactly where they are yeah and so that's why i knew as soon as we got there we're right where i told you start breathing i was like okay they're they should be right there yeah so, john give us up. give us a little dialogue from day one <laughs> from day one let's see rain <laughs> uh, more rain sleet hell uh, sleet, snow hell, snow uh, freezing our asses off. Uh, wind. The wind hadn't stopped. Uh, it did switch directions on us one day, yesterday. Oh, yeah. So we wound up actually having to come down here to look for these two. Yeah, but first day. So first what, what, day. First day, you got to tell the whole story. Up, first day, we were set up in the same place we were today, which is at the west end of this ridge. Buck Valley. Buck Valley. And uh, just right right across from, uh, from uh, Seal Bay, uh, just, just south of Seal Bay. And... Uh, we spotted these two. Actually, you spotted these two, and I made fun of you when well, you stepped out because he said, I'm going to look down this way. I said, uh, see if there's anything down here. I said, well, maybe when the wind changes. About 30 seconds later, you said, oh, two bears. I thought you were pulling my chain. And uh, so I stepped out, and sure enough, there they were. And uh, you weren't sure if they were the sow and cubs we had seen from camp or not. We stepped out, we looked at them. They were wrestling and playing and smacking each other. Getting ready to do the, the, the limbo, so to speak. <laughs> anyway, uh, it was too late to try to make a run on them. We were about a mile and a half uh, from them. They wound up uh, over here to the east of us in this grass flat towards the beach. And uh, so we said, well, tomorrow we'll see what the wind does and we'll set up to try to get them. Hopefully they'll stay in this valley. So yesterday we went and sat down at the far east end of this valley, down there by the beach. And uh, at one point endured five straight hours of rain and wind. <laughs> without a tarp. Without a tarp, <laughs> without anything. We were drenched. Uh, of course, our gear kept us dry, but yeah, the anyway, the uh, adrenaline kept us warm. Yeah, we, we, we didn't complain even once. I think Travis will, att will attest to that. We were troopers. No complaints there. Uh, of course, we were only on day two at that point. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, like I said, we had a, a west wind that day, so that's the reason we sat up down there. Didn't see a whole lot. We saw a couple of uh, small bears, one that got within 20 yards of you. And Surprised us on the beach in the back. That's right. Travis, whist us. Travis whistled at us and this seven footers down there fiddling around. Yeah, a little three year old boar. Anyway, uh, so we called it a night and we decided since the wind was blowing hard out of the east again today, we set up in the same place as day one and we waited around sure enough, right around the same time we saw them on Wednesday, they showed up again about 7.30. This time they showed up a little bit further back and in the middle and so, uh, we checked the time, make sure we had time to make a stalk on them, and uh, Travis. You got a reverse. Who, who spotted them? Uh, well, John Healy, my Sherpa. <laughs> Sherpa. Sherpa. Uh, Sherpa extraordinaire. Door, yeah. <laughs> Brown anyway. noser. Brown bear hunter himself. He uh, he actually spotted these two bears twice. <laughs> once on Wednesday, once today. And uh, so anyway, we uh, we made a quick little hustle once we found out that there was a, a back alley that uh, the other guides uh, shared with us. And uh, we made a quick sprint. Tra uh, Travis was setting a new world records I was walk impressed. through the I, I, I wasn't sure Travis could go that quick with, uh, <laughs> uh, what? you know, no, no, that no. Gut, the gut on him. Of course, I have a gut, <laughs> on, I have a gut on me too. So We anyway, all do. We all do. Uh, but we, we made it. We didn't stop. Adrenaline kept us going. Uh, just about two or three minutes before Travis told me to start controlling my breathing, I'd already started breathing through my nose, trying to get ready to make sure I wasn't out of breath when we got up to him. And to make sure that if we got up to them further than, uh, closer than we thought, I could put a shot uh, on target uh, at close range without heaving and having the gun bounce on me. Anyway, uh, so we spotted them again just before we actually dropped down into the valley. And uh, we stayed in this rough bush pretty much the rest of the way. Uh, how many rivers did we cross? Oh, I bet we crossed wait, it seven about, times yeah, at least. Five or six times. Did you get you, wet? No, if you if you crossed fast, you didn't get wet. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you did, because you, no, well, you no, had waders No, chest on, waders. So. Anyway, the one day I wore my knee boots, and <laughs> sure enough, we have to cross. It didn't matter. We were, didn't we matter. were I stayed dry. Yeah. Anyway, it and it wouldn't have mattered if I got in wet. Anyway, uh, once we got into the bush, I'll be honest, I was, uh, I was on high alert, because I know these things are not to be trifled with, and uh, uh, I was, I kept waiting for Travis to tell me to chamber one, but I know he doesn't know me, so he was waiting to the last possible second to keep his ass safe. <laughs> uh, anyway, we got up here dead in the bush, and we saw him about 70 yards away. And well, we couldn't, we couldn't see him, and we actually passed him, and we backed up just a little, and yeah, here comes the sow. Calls. The sow was coming out of there. So once we spotted them, though, uh, they were actually facing us and kind of 
meandering towards us. And uh, well, yeah, then they were so the close we couldn't tell which was which because uh, at, at that distance they're both huge and yeah, there's a lot of swells shit. and so forth and so we had to wait a little longer which meant they kept coming towards us <laughs> and we kept uh, going and we kept going uh, because I was on Travis's hip like he asked me to be uh, and uh, it's all on video all documented. finally he gave me the go ahead to chamber one which made me feel a lot better. <laughs> At uh, 70 yards yeah, or less? No, no it, was about, yeah, it was about 70 yards when he finally told me. So we get to about 50 yards, we finally make the determination which one was the boar. And uh, so I put the shooting sticks up and squared on him. And I think I made a pretty good shot the first time. And he went about 30, eh, 20, 30 yards. And uh, I put one more into him uh, uh, just behind the shoulder again. And, and he was one. flouncing around, and so I put one more in his spine. The last I think one you put four in him, didn't yeah, you? You shot twice right. here, the, the, the last twice one, here, and then two yeah, the, on the end. The, the third one was in the spine, the fourth one was uh, probably in the top of the shoulder blade, actually. Uh, yeah, just might have spined him right at the end because right he yeah. really collapsed. So. Uh, I know that third shot, I actually I actually saw it spray up. Yeah. That's why yeah. I, I was aiming for the spine. It looked like it got Look, the spine, Yeah, too. it looked like spinal cord. That's why I think he was sitting Fluid, there yeah. rolling. So. Yep. So. But he's down, and we'll go. Yeah, I'm going to change the video battery in just a second here. Okay. So, But awesome. Let me change we'll, uh, it. We'll change the battery, and then we'll go take a look at his trophy. And this before we do this, that, I need to get some water. This is the uh, fog. Now, I've got a little shot of water. Not much, but we'll share it. Hey, I can go to the We're going up on the final approach. Is this about where you shot him, right? The water right there? Uh, right where we were standing, where you shot him. So you might see a blood trail through here. Maybe. Do you? No, no, it's He's with a big old sow, so we gotta be careful. We'll let Travis go up and check it. Dropped right in front of that big triangle rock, I think. John put four rounds in him, but a bear. Hey bear. Hey bear. Hey bear. Heck of a head, look at that beautiful head. Yeah. I bet you look up nice, go ahead put your rifle down. Grab a paw. Sweet John boy. Carefully, it landed right on a hole, so don't sit behind him. It says he's in a hole, that's what We need to break down this brush and everything. Yeah, just getting some. Got a lot of things to do. Pull that big old head up. That ain't gonna happen <laughs> Oh, look at that head. <laughs> look at that freaking head. Oh, wow. Beautiful fur, too. Got that little silver top on him. Here. Woo, what a bear. What a bear. Turn his head just a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you barely lift his head. You just barely, barely lift his head. Now, now, now do the pause again. I mean, those paws are so freaking impressive. 
That's going to make such an awesome mount. Get that grass out of there. There you go. <laughs> Take some steels with it, too. Oh, I got the better steels, but I need to get up underneath you, too. Okay. No, we'll see. Yep, it is. There you oh. go. So you do it. I'm going to get this on video, too. Got speakerphone. <laughs> I'm getting voicemail. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you called Dylan or? It's it's Kim. No, it's okay. I'll leave a voicemail. <laughs> I was telling him try him in a few. <coughs> she might be asleep. It's midnight. Hey, babe, it's me. I wanted to let you know uh, I got a nice nine foot, nine foot Kodiak Grizzly. Uh, Brown bear. So. Brown bear. Yeah, yeah, brown bear. <laughs> Got a new piece of furniture anyway, for Mother's Day. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll try to give you a call back later when maybe you'll take my call next time. Anyway, <laughs> everybody's safe. Uh, we got a bear down. We're going to try to get back to camp and come back and uh, get him all cut up and get the uh, hide taken off of him, the skull taken off of him tomorrow. So anyway, I love you. Tell the boys, and please call Priscilla. I'll try you later. I love you. Bye. Oh yeah, that's an awesome bear there. Snap some more of that. Snip. Oh, that's an awesome shot there too. Very nice John boy. Does this take decent pictures? Yeah. Good. It's like three lines across those captures. Does it take all three yeah. to take the picture? Okay, here we go. Get up in. Close as possible. Oh, there goes his head. Oh, his head dropped. Hey, we didn't go good, Travis. I don't think we're going to need any pictures tomorrow. We won't bring the big gun back, so this will be probably your last time with the gun. We'll bring the pistols. Put one across him. Put the gun across. Lay it across him. Like, yeah, a little bit. I'll play that. Perfect. Okay. Good. Uh, let me get some of my iPhones. So it'll work. 